Hi all, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about diamond and its main simulants and imitation stones. You know that diamond is a rarest and quite expensive gemstone because of its high rarity and high value. Many stones are created in laboratory for imitating diamonds. Here we are going to discuss about two important stones which is very much similar to the gemstone diamond and it is very much abundant in the market as imitational stones of diamond. These two important stones are cubic zirconia and mosonite. These are artificial man-made stones which is simulating diamond in a way with its some aspects of its similarity in its physical appearance with diamond. These three stones are available in, in multi colors. Mainly diamond, cubic zirconia and mosonite will be available in the market as colorless stones. The main similarity of these three stones will be its color and its shining or luster. Because of its high hardness, refractive index and dispersion. Three stones are shines very brilliantly. Its fire is almost equal. Because of this character, these stones are very much confusing with each other. And here I will try to explain some basic and simple tips for the identification and separation of these three stones. First, we are going into the details of diamond and cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia is also known as CZ, American diamond or AD in the market. Its chemical composition is zirconium dioxide and it has the hardness of 8 to 8.5. And the first and important point I am going to reveal you that because of its hardness difference when we compare diamond and cubic zirconia the facet edges corners and junctions of cubic zirconia is rounded or almost smooth when compared to diamond diamonds facet edges and corners will be very accurate and sharp you can feel the difference when you will take two specimens in your fingertips you can feel the sharpness of diamonds when compared to C set. And the second point is its weight difference. The specific gravity of diamond is 3.52. And cubic zirconia has the specific gravity range of 5.6 to 6 because of its bigger difference of specific gravity. When we take two specimens of cubic zirconia and diamond with equal size, you can feel the weight difference. Cubic zirconia will be heavier than diamond. By the heft method, when you drop two stones from a height to your hand, you can feel the difference of weight. So by comparing weight, you can separate diamond and cubic zirconia. Keep in mind that cubic zirconia is heavier than diamond. And I already told you about the hardness difference between these two stones. Because of the hardness difference, you can find some scratches or facet abrasions on cubic zirconia stones when compared to diamond. When we keep more crystals of cubic zirconia in a single packet, it may scratch each other and some surface scratches and defects may be seen on the crystals. And the next point is by observing these two stones by a Tannex lens or a microscope, you can find the inclusions present inside the stone. Most diamonds have several inclusions inside the stones like crystals, pinpoints, feathers, some minerals, etc. And cubic zirconia stones may be very much clear and inclusion free. And this is also an important point to separate 
these stones and the next simple technique for the identification for the separation is you can take a white paper and make a point with a pen on that paper a darker point and place the cubic zirconia stone with the table faced downwards on the point and by looking through the pavilion side you can see a ring of dots around the culet and when you place a diamond on the point you will never see a ring of dots around the culet so this is a very simple method to discriminate ad and diamond because of the total internal reflection in diamond crystals we cannot see the objects clearly placed behind the crystal and another important tip to separate diamond and cubic zirconia is by looking its girdle thickness most probably the girdle thickness of cubic zirconia is more than that of diamond in natural diamonds the girdle thickness is around thin to medium but in the case of cubic zirconia the girdle is very much thicker when compared to diamond so this is also an important feature which can help you to separate natural diamond and cubic zirconia stone and sometimes you can depend the fog test also which means that when you exhale or breathe out on a diamond the vapor will be disappear very soon because of its high thermal conductivity when you are exhaling on a cubic zirconia stone the vapor will be remain on the stone few seconds when compared to diamond this is also an indicative test for separating diamond and cubic zirconia when you are taking diamond stones with your fingers is more stickier to your finger than cubic zirconia or ad stone and by means of thermal conductivity machines like diamond probe and diamond tester you can easily separate diamond and american diamond in this diamond testing machine the therm the thermal conductivity principle is used by this machine heat is conducting on the specimen you are testing by detecting its thermal conductivity ability you can easily separate cubic zirconia and diamond because diamond is conducting heat very easily and cubic zirconia will not by detecting this feature by the diamond tester you can easily separate cubic zirconia and natural diamond so these are some simple techniques for the separation of cubic zirconia and natural diamonds next we are going into the details of mosonite stone mosonite is composed of silicon carbide and the main difference between diamond and mosonite is its optical character diamond you know that singly refractive in nature and mosonite is doubly refractive in nature and the already discussed gemstone cubic zirconia it is also singly refractive in nature single refraction means when a light ray passes through the crystal like a single ray without any splitting in doubly refractive gemstones when light enters into the gemstone it will split into two rays and and it will travel with a different velocity and wavelength so mosonite is doubly refractive gemstone this is a primary difference between diamond and mosonite because of its doubly refractive nature when you observe a mosonite through a eye glass or microscope you can see that the back facet edges will be show the doubling nature you can see this property very clearly when you observe the gemstone through the chi facet of the crown you can see the arrow facets of the pavilion side 
through the kite facet of crown. When you observe the arrow facet, the arrow facet edges will be show the doubling effect because of the high double refractive nature of mosonite or by refringence of mosonite. When you observe a diamond crystal, you cannot see this property because of its single refractive nature. Specific gravity of mosonite is around 3.22 to 3.23 range and diamond has the specific gravity of 3.52. Because of the small difference between specific gravity, you cannot feel much weight difference between the gemstones. And the hardness of mosonite is also very much higher. It is around 9.25 range. Because of its high hardness, there will be not that much surface defects present on mosonite stones. And the next important difference is its inclusions. In mosonite, you can see some special inclusions like some tube-like or needle-like elongated inclusions you can see through a eyeglass or microscope. In a simple diamond testing machine, the heat conductivity principle is used. Because of both the stones are heat conductive, due to this property, you cannot separate mosonite and diamond by a simple diamond tester. For the detection, you need to check it with a mosonite testing machine. So I think you may now get some ideas and you can separate these three stones with confidence in the market by simple equipments and techniques. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.